And so yesterday we started with the wise men. This morning we want to look at someone even a little closer, a cousin of Mary herself. I'm reading from the book of Luke and I'm reading chapter 1 beginning at verse 39. It says this, Now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste to a city of Judah and entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. And I've read a long piece there this morning, but it's good to read from the Bible. What I want you to get is this. Jesus' ability to influence us leads us to proclaim or declare the truth and the value of who he is. Let's not take it for granted at any point in time that God's intention is that we just sit around and hope. No, no, no. There is that filling of the Spirit of God in the hearts of man. And as he fills us with his Spirit, we're able to declare his truth. Elizabeth said that Mary was blessed because she believed God, even though God spoke something virtually impossible. But she still believed, and that's the essence of a miracle. But she declared it. And to my mind, we're supposed to, being filled with the Spirit, be having an encounter with Jesus, filling us with His Spirit, and allowing us to declare who He is. This is a week where a lot of people are going to commercialize Christmas, but we're the ones who are supposed to stand up and say, the birth of Jesus was miraculous and the intentions real. So hear what? This week, declare the truth of who Jesus is.